this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to isolate or separate or break apart certain elements of an SVG file. Let's say, for example, you were cutting something and just one of the pieces didn't cut properly and you don't want to waste a lot of paper. You just want to isolate one element and just cut that or not because something didn't cut right, only because you want to just specifically use one piece for another application. We're going to show you kind of a workaround that allows you to isolate individual elements so that you can just focus on cutting that one thing. Now for these SVG files, we've found that the best method to isolate an element is actually to use the eraser tool to get rid of everything else except for what you want to keep. So I just took the eraser tool, made it a little bit bigger so I don't have to spend as much time erasing things. And as I do that, you'll see that this will disappear and I will be left with just the piece that I want. Okay, now this is especially handy when we're dealing with files that contain score lines. Okay, because in some cases, some people try to right click and ungroup. Okay, and occasionally that does work. In this case, all it did was ungroup the score lines from the actual cut lines, which can kind of become a headache. So I, I don't want to do that. Again, the method that, that we've used is a little bit easier and it might take a little bit more time depending on what method you're used to. Uh, but ultimately, it, it gives you more control over what it is you need uh, to recut. So let's say, for example, that this is the piece that we wanted to recut. I'm just going to grab the eraser tool and just quickly just erase the rest of it. Now, by default, the eraser tool is pretty small, so I've gone over here and I've made it bigger so that I can cover more area with fewer strokes. Okay, you just got to be a little bit careful there. And it's processing, and look at that. You've got it isolated.